so where we left or where we last left off she decided she was going to turn on Alan because he wrote her daughter into the story <sighs> we need to talk <sighs> damn right lots for me to explain yeah but no shit here. The knight's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? Profile. I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? Fair enough. I can talk to you there. If that's how you prefer it, Grandpa. <laughs> <coughs> How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons are bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. <laughs> I have a power. A seer. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Well, <clears throat> is this why I know the truth about Logan? While everyone else forgot? said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by I haven't regretted it. That fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble and... Then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. I won't stop until they're safe. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. I have the 
clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An amp? Get your guitar roaring, and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. I can't stop the horror story without him. I already took care of all this. Tor is here, in the overlap. Gotta find him and get the fuck out. Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. Wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. And I'll need to keep an eye on him. Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the dark places focus on art? Okay, well, it appears that for now that's basically all we got. Because everything else is locked out. Okay. Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake to stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Me and my bro. Get me another fucking jamming, too. When you need it, remember. Your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. Don't you kiddo. I'll drag my sorry ass over to Odin. Should I go check on shots at the Anderson's finest? We'll fix us both up. See you soon, Saga. You have a good night. The FBC is holding Wake at the sheriff's station. I yeah. need to make Agent Estevez understand. Oh, I'm gonna go they see They have Wake and I have the sure. clicker. We have to work together to stop this. i make sure everybody's okay. Casey. Do you read me, Casey? Damn it. Where are you, Casey? Of course, Casey. You better be okay. Focus, Saga. Okay. Get to the station to wake. Let's 
saved him. Where are you at, gender? I wanted to pick your brain some more. You're weird. Rather eat Randy. Rather eat Randy. I'd rather eat Randy. 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 So no new conversations. No new nothing. All right, fantastic. Don't care. I want to get the fuck out of here, anyways. God is good and God is great. Gotta thank God for giving me this Randy. I'd rather eat a randy. I'd rather eat a randy. Rather eat a randy, randy. Eat a randy, randy, randy. That's not my car. Where did I park? Where is my fucking car? Where did I park? Oh, I didn't park. I fucking walked. So. God is good and God is great. Thank you for bringing me this around here. <clears throat> I'd rather eat randage. No, there's an assault. Or not an assault. Hmm. Motherfucker. I guess we're gonna have to. Oh man, what the fuck am I doing? Good thing I came back, I would have been fucking pissed. Look around here because clearly I'm leaving stuff. You can fuck off with noises. That was fucking bodily noises, that wasn't... Pardon? No? Well, just the electric heater's working well. Did have it on earlier, but. Okay, 
Fuck. Where the fuck am I? Wait, so what am I looking for? A fucking doorknob? I guess the only room I haven't checked would be the staff lounge and the bathroom. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I'm fucking tired of running around nursing homes, that's for sure. progress you should be able to expect enemies Hello. I'm back now. Thank you. Oh, yes.
It's like low budget Resident Evil management system. Uh, it's alright though. Or Resident Evil 2 Remake, I think, did the exact same thing. But in Resident Evil 2 Remake, you couldn't get these cool little charms. Thank you. Oh, yes, yeah, so a better pet. On greener pastures now. Okay, so you give me a new weapon, so where's the big enemy to jump scare me? To test it out. Bang, bang! Get the clicker to wake, and make him fix his attempt to play God. That's the plan. But the FBC have him. If the FBC won't let me be, will let me be me, they'll let me see, then the FBC's gonna fight with me. Would you fuck off? Okay. So there's a computer, and then there's a bathroom I haven't been in, so... Computer, we definitely checked, but I'm gonna look at it anyways. Do do do. The handicap bathroom. Okay, so. At least we know for sure there's nothing in the building, so we can just zip through this place. And then, I guess, the rest of it's probably explorable. Let me just make our way through. There's apparently Grandpa. Apparently. I don't buy it. Um, for fuck's sakes, where's a goddamn map? It's right there. It, yeah, I can go out there and deal with it. You have yourself a good night, eh? That was kind of strange. I opened the bolt thing from the other side so it spawned me on the other side. Strange. Fuck. I really don't want to explore all that, but. Your hair is looking nice today, Mandy May. 
this is how it looks every day. Basement floor. There's a shoebox. Where the fuck's a basement? Oh, yeah. regret this Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> I guess we're gonna be... <laughs> doorknob. I put the doorknob in the fucking building. Like... Oh yeah, and it turns into a hellscape here almost immediately. Perfect. Okay. Can't go too much to the... Oh, never mind.
Oh, Pat Main, buddy. You're losing it. Ah, oh, fuck. It definitely sounds like Mr. Scratch has taken over. Fuck! Gail Barrows stared at his chest x-ray. It was in his left lung. It felt like a black hole. An opening to darkness. He felt like he was drowning. He coughed and coughed and coughed. So hard, his whole body and soul felt twisted and mangled, upside down and inside out. With every cough, the black hole grew bigger. It felt good. It tore him up, but it felt good. Gale was dying. The black hole was sucking everything good out of him. He imagined looking through it, into the darkness. The black hole grinned. Gale couldn't escape its gravity. He worshipped it. Gale sacrificed to it, in blood. Every night was bingo night at the Valhalla nursing home. Each time Rose drew a ball from the cage and called out its number, some of the residents shouted bingo, no matter what was on their cards. Some of them sat mute, their cards full, never calling out. Some of them would try to steal the ball from her. Some of them would chastise the others for acting out. It was like herding a clouder of cats. Rose didn't mind. She liked cats. She knew she was where she was supposed to be, with her little Vikings waiting for the hero to come. Tonight, the residents were restless, more so than usual. Ati was wearing Blum's coveralls again. Tor stood by the phone. Too late. Rose saw the hammer in his hand. The garden lights started to flicker, the darkness and rain pressing against the windows. The time drew nigh. Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. He lowered his phone. Mulligan isn't picking up. Yako shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. Had to be. The Koskula brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge, its light shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in Watery visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up and a crowd of deer masks looked his way. Okay, this is it. The rider is the target. Take him down and it's all over. Only shoot the fed if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. The crowd murmured the chant back to him. Ilmo turned his face to the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. Jesus Christ, that was a full page. <clears throat> Where do we sit trophy-wise? How's this game this fucking long? I'll walk you over so we don't get to keep doing this fucking
See? No, I've taken the wrong path. He tried to warn me. He tried to warn me. Cult box. Best go get that now while we're here. When Cynthia Weaver was downstairs at breakfast, Rose snuck into her room. With all the lamps in the room, it took her a while to find the one with an angel. Luckily, the dream Alan had sent her had been very clear. Rose was certain that Cynthia would not miss one lamp. She had so many. Tonight, Rose would put the lamp in a shoebox and let it sink into the garden pond. That's what Alan wanted. That's how she could help him. The thought made her whole body buzz with joy. Cynthia knew the lamp was missing the very moment she came back to her room. She was overcome by grief. It had been Tom's lamp, one of the few things that reminded her of him. It had not worked in a long time with the cords severed and the light switch gone. But there are other kinds of lights than the ones we can see. The invisible light of the angel lamp had held Cynthia together all these years. With tears welling in her eyes, she didn't see the shadow shifting in the corners of her room. down there explore the last couple things Holy fuck! Whoa!
What am I fighting you? I'm gonna take whatever option is quicker is what I take. So if you guys want to confront me and fight me, let's do it. If not, back off. <laughs> so what are we at? 42 minutes in. But I think I'm gonna go smoke a bong. Bitch, get on the fucking ground. What? Well, perfect opportunity to test it out. Where are you, the fuck? Not as effective as I was hoping, clearly. Get on the fucking ground. Good opportunity to use one. Yeah, nice try, dickhead. Wow. Oh, feel free if you wanna. If you wanna come test your luck, I will put you the fuck down. How's your leg feel? Yep. Definitely miss my crossbow to be perfectly frank. <laughs> Terrible. What the fuck was I thinking? You okay? One, you. bastard.
Like, how is it not more obvious? <clears throat> the scratch is in control. I feel like I want to do more, more of Alan Wake's story, but... I'm so far behind in this story, apparently. Like, how much time am I fucking wasting there? Where did I even leave Alan? And that guy was getting serious. His story is so much more interesting right now. That's right, I wanna I wanna smoke a bowl. We'll be right back. Do I really want to play this fucking game again?
Why wasn't that working before? Melee guys? Like what? But good to know. If you get a guy really not like on the verge of death, you can just knock him out. Jesus fucking Christ. Just a good chunk of my health right away. Doesn't matter. <laughs> 